Hey guys, I'm back at it again, this time working on the JCB Lodol Vitry 2 120 Turbo and uh, it's a teleporter but uh, she ain't going, just won't start for me and um, yeah, I guess this video is working out why it doesn't start Okay, first step is to always to remove the battery, so it's always the negative side that you have to remove. It's now off, so when you're taking off the terminals off the battery, you always take the negative off first because if you use a spanner there, it's the negative side and you earth it off anything on the chassis, the chassis is already negative so it won't make any difference. You do that to the positive side when everything is connected, that's positive, the whole chassis is negative and you get a big spark, so that's why you always do the negative first. And that's out of the way, pull the dead man. That's up there, so uh, now let's do the starter. Okay, so there's the starter motor. That's the solenoid on top, starter motor on the bottom, and there's all the wires. So we disconnect it on the battery, so now if we touch any of these wires that are positive and everything else in the chassis is negative, it won't make any spark because we've already disconnected the circuit. So the first thing to do is probably undo these um, nuts here, and then there's a few, tree, I think, around the outside here as well. We're going to pull off the whole starter motor itself. Okay, major success, finally getting it out. Okay, uh, see that? Teeth look okay. Teeth down there look okay. Get in for a closer look. There we go. Yeah, they look okay. Okay, um, so to get this out was a major, major problem and pain in the arse. So this is not a, uh, a JCB starter, this is a spurious one, but the reason why it's spurious is because the original one was crap. So we would turn the key and you could be turning the key or the engine, I'm not joking, for about 30 to 40 seconds before the engine would start. This is a high speed starter motor and it's far better and it was a great improvement that we got all right it's now giving problems after about 10 years so next thing is to probably take off this cap or this cap and have a look down inside it my guess is the pinion that the joints here that throws the, the pinion here in and out um it's a little uh cantilever like that it's probably gone wrong or there's something wrong or else the piston inside the starter here is um, binding up so it's not sliding evenly so I'm going to take it apart and see what's wrong with it so this is the solenoid it seems to be okay I was sh nearly certain it was binding in here but um, it seems to be actually okay now there is a bit of scoring on the piston okay so it's scored there, so I'm going to have a look now at the main motor. Okay, now about to open up the casing. And take a look at this side. And there's the, the planetary gears. There should be three of them there. There's one, two, and three. And there's a cog that goes all around the outside, and then these three here are the planetary gears. That's the sun gear, I think. And um, yeah, that was what gives it the torque. But um, hmm. so I don't think that's the problem. I think I think everything from here forward is probably okay. But from here back, that's the problem. So there's this. Maybe that's the sun gear. I can't remember which one it is. But anyway, um, yeah, there's not a lot of metal filings. The big four things are the four uh, permanent magnets. So I'm going to try and pull out the center of it and just have a look. Although I don't, to be honest, I think there's very little hope for this. I'm about to pull it apart now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not looking good.
Okay, uh, here's the problem. You see in there, there should be a gap between each one of these. So that's carbon has built up in between each of the, these little bars. On the commutator. That there's damaged. It's damaged, but it's still making connection, I think. So that's okay. Full of absolute carbon. Sure, no wonder the poor thing couldn't start. And that's the four permanent magnets. You can see each one of them there. The ones with the little circles in them. That's what the permanent magnets are. But this is absolute full to the brim with carbon. Um, okay. This here is... Oh, no wonder it wouldn't turn. It's okay, so these are the brushes. So there should be a brush in there like that. Oh, maybe that's backwards. Ah, there we go. So that's one brush, and there should be three other brushes all in here. But um, obviously when I was getting service and getting looked at, they took this apart, looked at it, and probably realized there's little to no hope for this. So I ended up buying a new one. Hmm. All right, I bought a new one and uh, it seems to be okay, so the new one, so it's going to go in. Um, to be honest, I would have loved to have been able to service this myself. I'd probably clean out the brushes here and whatever else was wrong with the thing. I don't know directly what was wrong with it, but um, yeah, I would have loved to have serviced it and gotten it all back running again. But to be honest, because the loader is used probably 300 days out of 365 days, you just need a, a, a perfect starter. And I think we just needed a new starter, to be honest, because it was giving problems for a while. So now, now to get the new starter. Okay, now to do a proper unboxing video. So, that one, that one. Ah, it's a new starter. Brilliant. And it comes with a tested. Okay, cool. So, um, heavy starter too. Okay, Brent. Now time to install it. Okay, now time to just do a quick test on the new starter. So now we're going to activate the motor and the solenoid. So we'll put the power on the start on the top one first and then lean it across onto the solenoid activator. Okay, we now have the new starter all installed. Let's give it a go. Okay, let's give it a go. Yes! 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 It works! It works! Yes! <laughs> well, bollocks to it anyway, it's after stopping on me. And, um, yeah, I don't know why. So, next video, I guess we're working, figuring out what the problem is. I think it's a fuel problem. So, um, yeah. See you next video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Support me on PayPal, all the, all the usual stuff. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.